everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new Asus laptop. This one is an Asus VivoBook Go 15 model and the exact model is a E1504G that information can be found on the sticker on the bottom. In here also it says Asus VivoBook Go 1415 because they only want to print one sticker for the version of the 14 and version of 15 so they don't want to print double stickers like this. Right. And I get lots of questions keep asking me, I keep getting emails that asking me, yeah, can you show us how to upgrade the storage on this one? How can you remove the main storage or what are the capacity that you can put in? And I keep telling you guys that you cannot upgrade the storage at home. Not use of, you need a good technician because you have to desolder a chip on the board and to add it. And some people are like, can I add an extra? No, you can't. So I'm going to make this video, open it up and explain you the inside why you can't upgrade the storage or add an extra storage at home by yourself. So this should cover up all those questions for everybody else. So I'm going to do this for you guys so you guys can see it, the inside of the laptop. So there we go. First, we want to power it off. This one is a 256 gig capacity. They have a different versions too. So we're going to grab some of the screwdriver set of using iFixit screwdriver set. Phillips number one. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. You're gonna remove all the screws and the screw in the back mid. This one is a longer screw, so you wanna put this one in a different pile. You don't wanna put this screw somewhere else that is short screws. So go ahead and start from one corner and remove all the screws and keep them in a separate pile. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna grab ourselves the opening tool. And we're going to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just right here where the color changes. Stick it right in there, about two or three millimeters, and then you just want to twist it. Work yourself in the front. You want to hear those big clips. Some of the clips are getting loose, so don't worry about breaking anything. Do that all around in the front. Same thing on the side here. It should have go to the back corner right there. Again, you guys don't need to do this. I'm doing this for you guys so you guys don't have to open yours unless you want to do servicing only. All right, now that we did the sides and the front, I'm going to grab the cover. I'm going to lift it up and wiggle it around and it will open up the back end. And there we have it. So down here, we can see the whole motherboard is just a very small motherboard, fan, heatsink, CPU. Then the RAMs are soldered on the board, so no RAM upgrade on this one. And the storage is right over here. It's a Samsung chip, it's an EMMC chip, uh, 256 gig. If you want to upgrade it, you have to use a, have a skill of reballing. You need to remove this one with a heat gun. Has a lot of solder pins on the bottom, on the other side of the chip. You have to desolder and solder back in a higher capacity, a 512 gig. Max you can go on this one, it's a single chip. And there is no extra storage anywhere else to be installed. In here it says SSD. On some other versions, they probably will give you a M.2 jack right in here. So you can have an M M VME drive or M.2 SATA from here all the way to this screw hole here. So it will look like something like, it will look like this. So you will go right there and you will snap right on that screw right there. Okay. Now people are still saying, okay, can I solder that jack in here? Even if you solder that jack, we have soldered that jack in here. It was not going to work because there's a lots of other components around it that will need, they need to give the power to this one is missing power controller. Many other stuff is missing to this uh, connector. So it's not simply just plug in the jack and, and think that it's going to work. It's not. There's a lot of others that you need a firmware update for the BIOS and many other stuff in order to get this one working. So if you get a version with an M.2 jack, then sure, just grab an M.2 slot, put it in there and put it down and install your system up to two terabyte storage on here. So open up yours to see if you have an M.2 jack installed. If you don't have an M.2 jack, then the only thing that you can do is to remove the EMMC chip in here and this this other and solder back in a high capacity. That's all you can do. You're gonna put it back together. To put it back together, just grab the bottom cover, 
put it right on top. Push down really hard on the corners. You want to hear those big click sounds on the back, on the corner, left and right side. So that cover snaps back into the place. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them together and that should cover up. To finish it up is to just put the long screw in the mid back and the rest of the screw goes all over the place. Again, I hope you guys like this video and help you to understand why you can't open, uh, upgrade the storage or what are the options that you can have to upgrade in your storage for your ASUS VivoBook Pro 15. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.